Okay, this is your classic recursive sequence. In order to know one number, you have to use the number before it, or maybe two, both terms before it in the sequence, which is the case here. Say it in your own words. Any term in the sequence equals two times the previous one minus one-half times the one before that. So they give me x of zero and x of one. I can figure out accordingly that x of two equals, you know, two times x of one minus one-half x of zero. As if n is one, or if n is two, and n minus one is one, and n minus two is zero. It's just to set it up. Now I actually put in these values now. So x of one is two, and x of zero, they told us, was three. So now we just do the math. x of two equals four minus one half of three is 1.5. So x of two equals four minus 1.5, 2.5. And then now I want to know x of three. So x of three is two times x of two minus one half times x of one, just to be careful with it. So x of two we just got was 2.5. Plugging that in, minus one half, x of one, we knew from the jump was two. So now we just do this out. This is five minus one, x of three equals four, and we're done.